Hello, welcome to the SWE Prolog web workshop. Uh, this is material that I originally gave at Strange Loop in 2013, and now I'm turning it into a video series for you. Um, so you'll want to follow along with the material that's in the GitHub repo uh, link below. So, uh, we'll start in one of two modes, either in production or in debug. Uh, if we start in production, uh, we start with Swipple and uh, this file, production.pl, and you can see that it does little more than in call um, a module called load that loads things in the order I want and then uh, and then opens uh, and then calls strange loop. The strange loop server server in turn just calls strange loop with a port number and uh, this prints out the little debug and then starts the HTTP server passing it HTTP, HTTP dispatch. HTTP server is the multi-threaded server for Sweet Prolog. Sweet Prolog just runs as a web server. Uh, so you could just run it bare. I think most applications, people put it behind Apache, uh, run it on a high port and make it only accept local host and then Apache forwards from um, forwards request to um, uh, to that high port. So, um, and that's just done for basically uh, I'd rather trust Apache to be secure than than uh, an exposed prolog program. Um, and, and to be performant and DDoS resistant. So, okay, we have HTTP server. Um, it starts the multi-threaded server. There are several servers, uh, but the HTTP server is basically the only one used anymore. And uh, then we have to have some way of mapping from the uh, request to a predicate that handles it, and that might be something that's best pluggable, and it is, and the default one is HTTP dispatch. Uh, that's the one that's provided. Rival Lanimates is actually written in a different one. Um, however, most of the things Rivos did have now been rolled into HTTP dispatch. Um, so that's uh, how the, the server starts. If you've... Uh, done any work on a large website, you know that sooner or later you, you discover that somebody wants to move the URL uh, path of something. And um, let's go down here. Uh, this is a typical URL, and this is the path portion. And as the website uh, gets bigger, uh, those inevitably need to be moved around. Um, to save pain, Sweet Prolog has a very handy system called the Abstract Path System. Uh, you're given one abstract path, root, which always is just slash, and you can descend from that. So this would be just slash help source. But you can define your own equivalents of root and have them start wherever you want. And then you can change them where you define them and suddenly there's someplace else. So in this case, um, we have a little problem. In debug mode, uh, I have the literate server, the literate docs server running, and uh, it wants to serve on, on slash, on the root. Um, however, fortunately, it does that through an abstract path, and so I'm able to simply move it 
And the way I'll move it is I will define a new location for PL doc, uh, and I will give it a high priority so it uses this one, and I will tell it, no, no, serve it at root help source. And now if I, um, when I open the, uh, this location, I will see the PL doc, and when I open this location, I will see my server and my pages. Okay, so that's the abstract path system. It's used in many places.